just got back from Pilates. I have to quickly do my makeup and hair for a photo shoot that I'm doing with a friend. And I think I'm gonna do happy hour with Haley after that photo shoot. So I also have to think of what I'm gonna wear for that so I can take an extra outfit so I can change after my photo shoot and go straight to my happy hour. I ran out in such a hurry. I thought I would have so much more time because I didn't need to do too much makeup but I was filming a get ready with me for TikTok and I was like doing first impressions of new makeup products that I got so that took a while but I love all the products that I used today, the new ones so I'll have to do a little review for you guys as well doing a test shoot with my friend I think he is shooting for some like actors and actresses for their profiles tomorrow and he wanted to test out the lighting so he needed a model for that and I could always use more pictures for my book as well so it worked out I was so stressed trying to figure out an outfit for my happy hour because whenever I'm with Haley, she takes the best photos of me she knows my angles, she gets the vibe so I want to get a cute picture today but I didn't have enough time to like really think about my outfit so I just randomly grabbed things I also did not get to ask what she was gonna wear because you gotta match the vibes, you know? watch me show up in like shirt and jeans and she shows up in like a pink suit I don't know that is totally a possibility for us Uh, uh, change like the way they wear your hand. Yeah, good. Nice. Yeah, perfect. Good. Kind of turn your body up a little bit more. Like, yeah, good. As if you're holding your dress one side up, um, and then the other hand could just be free to so your right hand, and then you could just like walk like a little bit like this. Yeah. I think that's good. I think that's good. No one misses me on the vlog, but I miss myself on the vlog, so I'm making it. No, they miss again. you. Everyone misses you I'm so back. much. Do you miss me? <laughs> oh, don't feed me that. Ooh. How is this two dollars? These oysters are two dollars. Cheers. Cheers. I do. Maybe I, I don't want to. It's so fun. Just kidding, it's like horse radish. That's so good. I have to vlog this monumental moment because we're in the talks of planning a promotion with Gloney. Kelly Kim x Gloney, Gloney x Kelly Kim. And this is so fun for me because. If you have been watching my videos, if you've been following me for a while, Gloney and I go way back. Gloney used to be called Spooning. That was their brand name before and they recently changed their name to Gloney. But I've been a fan of Spooning since like 2018. I feel like every launch that they've had, I've bought something. And usually it's not even one, it's like multiple things that I like save up my money and buy. I've known the people behind Gloney for that long as well. They just sent me a whole folder with pictures of the next draw that they're doing, so these are not released yet. And I am so excited. <sighs> ah! I can pick five pieces as my, like Kelly's pick. Now the Merlot. Oh, I don't like that. Oh, I don't like that. Okay, I love Gloney's belt, and they're coming out with more belt. Ah, belt is not easy. This is so good. This is so good. This is so me. This is so good. I'm heading into Orange County today because that's where I got my Tesla windows tinted, and I have to get the windows tint removed before I return my Tesla. So I'm gonna go back to that shop, drop my car off, hang out with Haley again um, for the whole day because I think it's gonna take a while. So I pack my bag and I think we are also gonna have like a little work sesh where we sit at a cafe, which is perfect. So I have my bag just packed with all the work stuff that I need. The cardigan is from The Grove the little short sleeve I'm wearing underneath is Gloney and then I'm wearing my favorite Stone Island cargos and I actually I have to bring a pair of jeans because I have to do like a casting video I'm gonna do these for shoes 
They're so dirty, but it's okay. breakfast I got this probiotic coconut yogurt from Whole Foods yesterday and I've been watching people take a scoop of this in the morning and apparently it has so many benefits it's an amazing tool to optimize your gut health and strengthen your immune system because of its high concentration of probiotics I don't know let's try it I got a chocolate flavor I'm gonna do one big spoon so it it's technically two normal spoons. Oh, it's a little sour. It's like a whipped mousse texture. It's not bad. It's very chocolatey with a very sour aftertaste. Hopefully it does something for me. I got these little divider shelves for my kitchen cabinets. And look how clean and nice that looks. I got these headbands from this place called skincare bands. Look how cute they are. Oh, you can't see. And you can like shave the ears. This has been my recent favorite skincare. It is an expensive bougie item, but it is a vitamin C alternative. And I think this works better than any other vitamin C's I've ever used because I do have vitamin C serums that I like and I have seen some difference with it but I think this just tops all of the vitamin C's that I've tried highly recommend but I only do this at night this is another favorite of mine it's like a tea tree serum I like it because it is not sticky at all it is super refreshing I just don't like when skincare leaves that like residue on my skin for sunscreen just gonna do this one i was kind of scared to say that this is like the absolute best sunscreen because i haven't tried some of the newer sunscreens that are popping off i still haven't tried beauty of choson which i know is like everyone's favorite but i tried skin chansa the centella one and i still like this one more i need to give beauty of choson sunscreen a try but i will try when i'm done with this because i don't want to hoard skincare my cabinet is already overflowing i'm just gonna put some vaseline on so tired i don't want to go top is from aloe it is a tight fitting long sleeve top and today's gonna be a leg day so i like having something like a fabric protecting my neck from the squat rack or the the bar whatever that's called but it's really thin because i don't like sweating through shirts during my workouts and then i'm wearing these leggings from set active I like wearing lighter colored leggings for my leg days because I can see my muscle better. I'm gonna wear these shoes. just got this giant tub of aloe body wash i've never been the type to have a specific preference for body washes but i just got this because it was ginormous and i was kind of tired of trying little ones and having to replace it every month this one smells super citrusy but i think i like it I don't know. I I think I really like it, especially after a workout. I have to go into my agency today for a little workshop thing that they're hosting. 
I think it'll be very beneficial for me since I'm still a newbie and I don't know a lot of things. I'm gonna use the Dior Forever Skin Glow Foundation. I've been using this spatula because it's so good at thinly distributing the foundation that I only end up using like 25% of the foundation that I normally use and I still get a good coverage. This is one of the new things that I got. It's a giant foundation puff. It looks like a cushion puff but it is a lot bigger and thicker and it makes blending out my foundation so much faster. I damp it a little bit. I don't like run it underwater but I'll get some water on my fingers and just pat that in so it's a little damp. And it just covers so much surface at once. There's going to be a big casting director there that tells us like one-on-one -on -one different ways we can improve whenever we're submitting pictures or videos because whenever there's a big job, we submit like audition videos like actors would just so they can see how we move, how we talk. I'm a little nervous because I feel like I actually have no idea what I'm doing and my excuse for my bad photos and videos will be that I genuinely didn't know so I don't know, hopefully I don't get scolded My favorite concealer recently has been the Milk it has really good coverage, super creamy, blends super well like a thicker consistency but it still melts into your skin really nicely The other thing I got is this powder compact from Colorgram I heard it had really good blurring power so I wanted to try it out I also like that it has like a tint of pink. I don't know if it does like a brightening effect, but it's just cute. I got this blush. Roman Better Than Cheek in Vine Nude. Like a purplish pink color. Honestly, this doesn't show up on my skin that well, so I have to really pack it on. But it looks really pretty in person. It looks super like milky pink. I also got this new highlighter. I think I need to start meditating again. I am not a meditation girly. I just have not challenged myself hard enough to become one. My mind is everywhere and I noticed this because I cannot talk straight and it is making myself mad. Like I need to wake up take like 10 minutes, throw out everything that I don't need by meditating, you know, and start with a clean state of mind. I also have not been filling my eyebrows in. I just don't really feel the need to because the darker my eyebrows get, the less I like them. Very lastly, I have this lip liner from Roman that I got. Lip matte pencil. It's really nice because it's super thick so it covers a lot of areas. And it's really good at like really extending your lips. Guys, I do not listen to K-pop that much. But I'm obsessed with Rise right now. Their song is not leaving my head. I listened to it five times when I was working out today. Nothing else was satisfying me. Daisy lip tint and fig something. Fig berry. All right, that's it. This is my second outfit of the day. I need to run out, so I just threw on something really comfortable and easy. This brown v-neck sweater from Polo. A white short sleeve underneath. I would have layered a tank top actually, but this works. I have my New York necklace on. Black glony jeans. And then I'm just gonna throw on my white sneakers again. And my black shoulder bag. I'm back from my workshop. That was pretty quick. I mean, it was like an hour classroom time pretty much. Went in, sat down, listened, came back out. My stomach was growling though. And usually my stomach growls for like three seconds max. This time, my stomach was growling for like 10 seconds and I would not stop. And that happened like three times. So I was like, all right, I need to get myself home as soon as possible, make food. So I'm making some food right now. But while that is cooking, I'm gonna do some unboxing. So I came home with 3D packages. A package from Kosas and some brows. These are my favorite brow pencils. Package from Maison Kitsune. Probably didn't say that right. Oh, this is super cute. The package from Steve Madden. I actually placed an order myself. I got a pair of boots. I wear my brown loafers all the time, so I wanted something similar to that, but a little different. I think I can wear this like with almost every one of my outfits because I dress pretty simple, so this will go along with everything. But it kind of just elevates the look instead of just wearing sneakers with them, so... 
I'm excited to wear this during the summertime too with the shorts and long socks. It's super cute. It's like a vintage wash brown, distressed brown. And they were having like a $25 off sale, so I couldn't pass that up. We're heading to this cafe right now to get coffee and food. We had our minds set on this cafe since last night, but we didn't counter in the fact that it might be raining and it is in fact raining. We're still going because from my memories, I feel like their outside seating has like a little roof part where you'll still be covered But I'm 50-50 on it. I am not sure But if that's not the case, I'm hoping that we can snag a seat inside But there's like four seats inside And I'm also hoping that because it's raining that people went to other cafes or like staying home So I don't know, it's one of those three We love this cafe because they have good coffee and they have good food menu for a cafe because I feel like cafes they do like paninis and like baked goods and that's like the most they'll do maybe like a salad but I feel like they have a full kitchen inside and they have very innovative like fun lunch menus and they're healthy <laughs> I have beef with my current hair right now because you guys probably all know that I cut my hair off this summer. It was like end of October. No, not October. End of August. My hair was like this length. It has grown out a lot and I haven't really decided if I want to get it cut to that length again or if I want to grow it out. But I'm at an awkward length and because I was cutting it at like a shoulder length, I pretty much didn't add any layers because I wanted it to be like a straight bob cut but now that my hair is growing out I think the straight cut is making the hair look a little like suffocating and heavy and I don't know what to do when I'm blowing out my hair and like doing my like styling my hair I used my Dyson for the first time in forever and I think that made my hair look a little better like I don't hate this. I'm working with dry hair, not damp hair, so it doesn't hold the curl that well, but it's okay. I think this should work. I'm getting ready for a dinner right now, and I do want to look cute. I wanted my hair down because I feel like I always wear my hair up these days, but I wear my hair up because it's been a little bit difficult to style. <laughs> got back from dinner. I ate so good. I'm so full. Also, I'm loving the makeup today. The only special thing that I did was add eyeliner on my lower lash line, but I think I really like it. Like, I think it might be my new everyday thing, not just for dinner. My evening plan is to take a salt bath. I've been trying to do this more often, at least once a week. My goal is to do like two to three times a week, but it is a hassle to like fill up the bathtub and do this during the weekday, so... Yeah, it's pure Epsom salt. It's good for muscle soreness. And I also just like sitting in the hot water and kind of sweating from the hot water. And it is truly my healing time. I'm also going to add some drops of this essential oil. This is night sleep essential oil. So I think it's like lavender, sweet basil, and jasmine to make it smell good. And then after the bath, I'll probably watch some Transit Love. <laughs> It was raining all morning, but now the weather is incredible. So it kind of put me in a cleaning mood, which is a good thing. So I organized my makeup. 
I don't have like a makeup drawer or like a vanity area so it always gets really messy I try to organize it where this is my everyday makeup these are things that are not everyday but I still reach for all the time so I want to leave it out on my desk this is something that can be put away like all the extra makeup these are some makeup brushes that I need to wash Currently teaching her how to edit. <laughs> I'm a, am I a good student? Yeah, I You're teach you one story. thing and you learn like three, which is good. Yeah, that's yeah, the goal. That's good. While you do that, you know what I'm gonna do. Um, she's <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing, journaling? I've been wanting to start like a recipe book. Wow. I already started, but I never finished. My cowboy caviar recipe. Remember my face? <gasps> it took her, it took us like two weeks to finish that. No, it was so <laughs> it good. It was so good. No, no, I think like she made a lot. Oh yeah. It was really good. <laughs> I have my cake recipe. went to this like most famous pancake place in LA and I ended up loving it and I would go back there anytime I can except their waiting time is insane I think that time we waited like 50 minutes to get our food long story short I'm gonna try making pancakes at home and see if I can make them good except I don't know what I expect with buying a gluten-free mix from Trader Joe's I didn't even know that it was gluten-free until 30 seconds ago so now I'm a little nervous because I feel like gluten-free tends to be not as good. If it's not that good, I'll try to make it from scratch next time. And I'll also film that so you guys can be in the journey with me. But we'll see how this turns out. I have no idea when to flip. I'm starting to smell it a little bit. I think I can flip it. Maybe I flipped it too late. I don't know. Honestly, that looks good. Oh my god, why is it burnt? Mmm. Mmm. I just made matcha with this powder. And you guys, I've never audibly gasped out of happiness when I made matcha at home because it's never really that good but this one is actually so good that it tastes like something I would buy from a cafe this is amazing anyways I will show you guys how I made that tomorrow when I make my matcha tomorrow I just got this package while I was eating and it does not say where it's from so I'm curious and I need to open it Ooh, this is Amazing because I don't really like drinking typical sodas. I've never been a soda girl But I also don't really like drinking like beer at home So whenever I want to drink something refreshing, I look for something like this like a fun like probiotic soda Or like kombucha carbonated water sparkling water Something like that. I feel like I haven't been the best at vlogging this week and I don't really know what's going on. We talk about romanticizing our lives, right? Our everyday lives and that's the whole point of this channel and that's how I got started in the first place because I wanted to visualize my life as the life that I really wanted to live until I felt like I achieved the life that I really wanted to live. There are days where it's not perfect, but it's good enough where it's easy for us to romanticize our lives. And then there are days where it just feels so mundane that you can't, it's not easy to romanticize our lives. And like, we just want those days to pass and don't really want to talk about it. Don't really want to linger on to those days. You just want to move on to the next. I feel like the latter part is like how I've been feeling. How are you guys feeling these days? How am I feeling these days? Just realized that I have not journaled in like three weeks. I journaled every day for like the first week of January and then I kind of let that go. I don't know what happened. I washed my hair last night and it's not dirty. I don't have to wash it, but I've been noticing the damages on my hair a little more because I've been using more heat. So I want to do a hair mask and wash my hair. Quite pricey. 
but it works so well. Also, I've been feeling a little sick like under the weather. I don't know what's going on. I don't know if I'm actually getting sick or if I'm just fatigued, if I just need more sun because it's been pretty gloomy here. Remember how my hair looked today because I'll do an update tomorrow and it's just gonna look so different. So you know when you go to a hair salon and the hairdresser tells you that you need to get a treatment because your hair is looking so bad? I don't know if that's a common experience but I've had that experience multiple times and I'm really bad at saying no so I just say okay I'll try it and I spend like 100 extra dollars and they always look good on the first day and then like second day my hair is back to normal but I swear this stuff is better than getting treatments at the salon clip my hair and let it sit for a little bit I'm gonna go edit and then I'm gonna shower to wash it off here's how I make my matcha this is the powder I'm going to be using today because this is the one that really blew me away yesterday. This little bamboo scooper, I'm going to do like two scoops. I heat up water in this little pitcher ceramic cup. I don't like to boil my water because I heard that you're not supposed to use like boiling hot water. Like just before boiling hot is how hot you want it to be. So I just microwave my water and I add just enough so that the powder can be whisked you don't want it to be too watery I don't use any sweetener but I do use almond milk with honey in it I feel like that makes it taste pretty good good enough so I upgraded my bed I used to have a full now I have a queen and I also wanted to get a real headboard bed frame because the one I had before was just like a platform and I feel like it just wasn't giving that cozy vibe that I wanted my bedroom to give and it wasn't like it, my mattress always moved around and it was just not something that I wanted to keep around for a long time so I got rid of that and my new bed frame is supposed to get delivered next Tuesday but they called me this morning and was like oh we're here I was not expecting that but cool because they're here early and I get my bed early so I stripped out all the bedding from my bed so they can come in and work on building the frame and leave me with my new bed and then they called me later and was like actually they messed up this is not your order I knew that I don't know why I got so excited. I knew they were going to say that it was a mistake. Now I'm left with a naked bed in my room. I thought I didn't vlog that much, but as I'm editing, I'm realizing that I have a lot of footage. So I'm gonna end off the vlog here. I wanted to unbox some new Glony pieces in this vlog and show you guys my new bed setup, but that's gonna have to wait for next week's vlog. I'm sorry, it's coming, okay? Thank you so much for watching and keeping up with me for another week. I will see you in my next video. Bye!